This is the story of UFO fleet over the Russian city of Kolomna. Hi everyone, what's up? I am Dos Geek back here with you and Section 51 in a new video. Thank you again for your support to the channel. First, you can like and share the video and of course hit that bell button. Then we can start. A fleet of UFOs was seen and recorded by multiple witnesses in March 2015 over the city of Kolomna, Russia, where just the year before another multiple UFO sighting occurred. What is attracting UFOs to Kolomna? And what is also attracting Triangle Formation Lights UFOs to Kolomna? According to Russian news sources, on March the 22nd at 7.55 pm, multiple witnesses in Kolomna reported seeing what some described as a flotilla of UFOs flying over the city. The witnesses believed these lights were from something other than planes, drones or balloons. The witnesses said the objects move in different directions and sometimes many of these ball lands in the sky remain virtually motionless or remain stationary when the other objects begin to move. This behavior discards any hypothesis that we can deal with objects or conventional aircraft but seems to indicate that, on the contrary, the balls of light can be equipped with a sort of own impulse and then intelligent motion. The witnesses also pointed out that this is not the first time UFOs have visited Kolomna. We recall that in this area of the Oblast Russian, which is 115 kilometers from Moscow, some people have spotted in the past and recently, in February 2015 and in 2014, many balls of light similar to those in March 2015. What is attracting these UFOs to Kolomna? It's 115 kilometers around 71 miles from Moscow, but the lights don't seem to move like military aircraft. Kolomna is an old Russian city that dates back to at least 1177. It has a history of trade, military conflicts, devastation and religion, but none of these would seem to be of interest to alien visitors. Perhaps it has something to do with Kolomna-born cosmonaut Mikhail Turin, who has made multiple trips to the International Space Station. In 2006, Turin hit a golf ball outside the ISS, most likely longest shot in history. Did he hit a UFO? No, I'm joking! On another trip in 2013, Turin delivered the Sochi Olympic torch to the ISS as part of the torch relay. One Russian report claimed that at least 25 UFOs were seen watching the passing of the torch. Alien speed skating fans? A number of Russian speed skaters were born in Kolomna including Olga Graf and Yekaterina Lobysheva who competed in the 2014 Sochi Olympics, of course. Is this the Russian Phoenix Lights or something else? In many videos of the UFO sightings over Kolomna, the lights slightly move around but stay in the same general formation overall. All these videos are actually some of the best triangle footage captured so far. There is a lot of data to study from these videos to look at with how the lights seem to move around and later all the formation.
Witnesses of the Phoenix Lights said the lights would undock and fly around and later join back up with the large triangle. With these videos of UFO sightings in Russia, we can see that type of activity taking place to back up what some witnesses describe about these triangles. I will let a video link in the description below. After the fall of the USSR and Gorbachev's reign as its final president, thousands and thousands of previously classified KGB files were released to the public, many of them containing proof of UFO sightings, interactions and events by Russian politicos, cosmonauts, military officials and civilians. Will we know one day if all these UFO sightings are linked to secret Russian military experiments, maybe using alien technology? Or are we talking about alien spacecrafts simply traveling across the vastness of Russia? What do you think of all this? What did all these people really see? Was it real UFO sightings or military experiment? Is the Russian army secretly working with aliens to develop advanced aircrafts? Or do they let aliens free to do what they want in their sky? What is the real link with Kolomna? Maybe we will know one day when disclosure happens in Russia. I hope you enjoyed this video. While waiting for the next video, you can find us on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Please like, share, subscribe, support Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.